Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in this video, I'm going to show you a quick technique on how to change a graphic or an icon to a different color without having to go into Adobe Illustrator or your image editing program or Adobe Photoshop. Um, so this will save you quite a bit of time and I'll go ahead and open this uh, site here that I've created. I'll hit Command Shift E. And as you can see, this graphic I turned into this yellow color here. And that yellow color was from this text right here. All right, so I'll show you how I did that. Uh, I'm going to insert that same graphic again. Excuse me. And the first thing I want to do is pick the color that I want to change this graphic to. Uh, and I want to add that to the swatches panel right over here. Um, the reason for, I'll show you the reason for that in a second. So let's say you have an image or something you want to change that graphic to that color. Uh, you'll have to add the swatch here um, first. So to do that, we click the swatches panel right over here. We click the add swatch. Uh, we select the uh, eyedropper tool. And I want to change that graphic to this blue color. So there it is. And then I click OK. And we just have to, you know, select the white color here or none because uh, it changes the whole fill here to that particular swatch. Uh, but yeah, just revert it back to the way it was. Um, so now we have that blue color right here in this swatch. And I'm going to copy this graphic. So Command C to copy it. And then Command V to paste. And just kind of line it up there so we can have it lined up. And to change the color, I'm just going to go to Effects right up here. Go to, and let me close the swatches panel so we don't get confused. Uh, select the graphic, go to effects, uh, and select this last button here that says glow. All right. Then we want to click the glow uh, button here to put a glow on it. And for the color, this is why we have to add it to the swatches panel. Because if we click uh, the color here, we don't have the eyedropper tool in this, um, in this section. So we actually added, had to add... Uh, excuse my, um, yeah, this is the joys of making videos. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but we had to add the swatch uh, to, uh, we had to add the color to the swatches panel so we can select it here. So I select the color and the opacity we want to set to 100. And you can actually tell there's a glow on this image, which looks pretty cool. But I actually want to change this image to that blue color uh, to fill it in with that blue color. And here where it says blur, we want to set the blur to 250. And just to show you, I mean, that's a hundred blur. Uh, but we want, we want to set it to 250, which is the maximum blur you can have on an image. Now you can see there's this glow around this image or this graphic. It's kind of that bluish. And because the blur is set to maximum, it's kind of like really blurred. That color is really blurred around the graphic. And now the last thing we do to, to fill this in with uh, that blue is we click on inner glow and voila. So what happened is that that glow just turned into an inner glow and filled the whole graphic with the blue. All right, now if we preview this in the browser, Command Shift E, we now have that blue color on this graphic. You can do that with any graphic. It, it'll save you a lot of time and it's just a really cool um, technique. Uh, I'll do it one more time for the purposes of the, these videos. Uh, I'll just pick um, another graphic. Let's say I'll pick this leaf here and I'll add that in there and just place it there. I'm going to copy it, just put it right there, kind of line it up. And again, I'm going to go to Effects, Glow, click the Glow, and I'm going to change it to this orange color and Opacity set to 100, Blur set to 250 and then click inner glow and now that uh, green leaf there turned orange um, you can't turn it into a gradient obviously this was a gradient first but you can turn it into a solid color all right so there you go and it's that nice orange color all right so that'll save you some time and it's just a quick way to change your graphics or icons to a different color in adobe muse uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video.